Discoveries shape our universe. Every day we uncover secrets, be that of ancient or cosmic kind. An ordinary day can easily transform into an unforgettable event that might not only shape an individual's life, but the lives of thousands. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three amazing discoveries. Mysterious Shark Disappearances Sharks are some of the most notorious survivors on our planet. Their ancestors can be directly traced back hundreds of millions of years and, according to National Geographic, they have made it through at least four mass extinctions and are older than even the oldest fossil forest. However, as successful as they may be, scientists have discovered that they used to be even more plentiful in the oceans of our planet and that 19 million years ago, some mysterious event decimated the shark population so drastically that they have never been able to recover. Recent analysis of denticles or shark scales found in fossilized samples on the sea floor has revealed an astounding array of shark species. These samples are abundant and impressively varied in the geological records dating up to around 19 million years ago, after which point the population of sharks in the open oceans across the entire globe mysteriously decreased by over 90%. Considering that sharks only suffered about 30% loss during the famous mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, Scientists now know that an incredibly large, worldwide event must have occurred to be able to affect sharks so drastically. However, the truly strange part is that an event that large should have left a mark in other places besides just the shark population. But, amazingly, nobody knows what that event could have been. There are no other markers of such an extinction in any species so far studied and the event is not chronologically near any known major climate shifts or major evolutionary changes. And, although the cause of this strange extinction is not immediately apparent, what is clear is the effects that such a dramatically reduced population had on the other open ocean animals. Following the extinction and the immediate removal of such a large portion of formidable ocean predators, an incredible amount of diversity appeared in groups such as fish, whales, other sharks, and even seabirds, who were able to evolve much more rapidly in the absence of a large number of sharks prowling the seas. Alarmingly, it appears that in the intervening 19 million years, sharks were never able to fully recover from taking such a mysteriously large hit, and a study published by Nature has found that the number of sharks in today's modern oceans has continued to fall. Even more concerning, this decline has sped up in recent years, and since 1970, the total number of sharks in the oceans has decreased by 71% and continues to fall. The discovery of the initial hit to sharks all those millions of years ago has just served to underline to scientists the importance of top-tier predators on their ecosystems and how precarious their positions truly are. It is increasingly likely that this majestic and historically incredibly adaptable species will not be able to withstand the effects of overfishing, environmental pollution and climate change. One thing is certain though, and that is the fact that marine biologists will be actively looking into the results of the mysterious, isolated mass shark extinction and how it affected the ocean ecosystems as we enter the age of several potential mass extinctions. Researchers find a secret warm oasis beneath Antarctica's ice that could be home to undiscovered species. A study of the subglacial caves might reveal undiscovered animal or plant species living comfortably due to the heat of an active volcano. Although average year-long temperatures on Ross Island hover around minus 17 Celsius, including six months between April and September where they do not rise above minus 20 Celsius, the temperature in cave systems beneath the glaciers can reach 25 Celsius. Located around and beneath Mount Erebus, an active volcano, the caves have been hollowed out after years of steam travelling through their passages. The study of the caves, led by the Australian National University, evolved into an analysis of the soil within. Fraser revealed that it contained traces of DNA from algae, mosses and even small animals that could be living in the underground oasis. Most of the DNA, Fraser admits, is like that of species living on the surface. However, not all the sequences studied could be linked to a particular animal or plant group, 
meaning Fraser may be on the cusp of discovering new life forms as well. Because there are several active volcanoes in the Antarctic, co-researcher Charles Lee from the University of Waikato in New Zealand said similar unexplored subglacial cave systems could exist across the continent. The research, originally published in the international journal Polar Biology, said there are another 15 volcanoes in Antarctica that are currently active or suggest signs of recent activity. We don't know yet just how many cave systems exist around Antarctica's volcanoes, or how interconnected these subglacial environments might be," he said. Co-author Laurie Connell, a professor from the University of Maine, shared her colleague's excitement but said the DNA evidence doesn't prove anything. The next step is to explore the caves themselves, hoping to find the living proof the team needs. If they exist, it opens the door to an exciting new world. For millennia, humanity has been defined and shaped by the world around us. As the natural world grows and evolves, so too do we as a species. Looking back, it is incredible to see how far we have come. Looking forward, who knows what other exciting discoveries and changes lie in store. Sonar equipment revealed that there was a submerged plane at the bottom of Lake Norman in North Carolina. On a regular day in North Carolina upon the shores of Lake Norman in 2013, a group of firefighters set out for what they thought would be a routine training exercise. However, nearly 100 feet down, they discovered a small sunken plane that was submerged in the deepest part of the lake. They were able to use a technology called side sonar imaging, which allowed them to create an image of large areas across the lake floor. Used as part of a procedure to identify safe diving areas, the discovery of the plane changed the entire scope of the training exercise. The Charlotte Fire Department's dive team quickly jumped into action, swimming down into the man-made lake to learn more about the fallen aircraft. What they found was the single-engine aircraft standing on its nose about 90 feet below. Even though the doors were tightly shut, they found no evidence of any body remains or victims. Yet, questions still lingered. Who was the owner of the plane? When did it crash? And how did it happen? To search for answers, the Federal Aviation Administration took over, poring over aircraft ownership records. While a few clues emerged, the case of the sunken plane remained a mystery. Officials believed that the plane crashed around 30 years ago, but a preliminary search through the archives found no reports of any plane crashes in Lake Norman. One theory that emerged was that it might have been an amphibious plane that must have floated away from a dock and sank, unnoticed for so many years, but no leads came from it. However, after news broke out, phone calls came in from prospective owners. A woman named Barbara Anderson believed that the plane was hers. She recalled the moment more than 30 years ago when flight instructors were using it for training. When they landed upon the water, they forgot to put the gear up to lock the plane on the surface, and it sank. After thousands of dollars to find the plane again, it was never found. Another lead came in too, this time from a man named Carol Leinberger, who claimed that the plane's owner was his dad, a licensed pilot named John Gibson. He remembered flying around in the plane with his dad as a kid until two weeks later when his dad told him that it sank. Others also believed that the plane belonged to John Gibson, the man credited with starting the Lake Norman Air Park who has since passed away. Since the discovery of the plane in 2013, little news has emerged about the final identification of the plane. Last updated on July the 9th, 2020, the FAA finally confirmed that the plane had been at the bottom of Lake Norman since the summer of 1974. Among the records, it was found that the aircraft was a Lake LA-4 amphibian whose owner, although not named, was a North Carolina resident that was deceased. As of now, the plane still has not been lifted from the waters. As time goes on, the case of the mysterious sunken plane remains shrouded in mystery. But what do you make of these three discoveries and announcements? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.